Hey everybody, Liz here. I wanted to show you a quick, pro easy process to sort of solve problems. If you're feeling stuck about something, uh, I like to call problems challenges or even better projects. So it's a brighter, lighter word, but if you've got a project you want to work on or a challenge, I used to do this process when I was at home working on a military computer 10 years ago and not being able to hook into the system. The computer was being wonky. I use it for computer challenges or just little fun issues, a little shamanic idea. Um, sometimes this, is, this technique is called throwing bones. These are not bones, obviously they're shells. That comes from a hoodoo or conjure or root worker term, which, you know, a root workers, conjure workers, hoodoo folks would throw bones of animals. I don't have that in the house. I don't work with bones, but you can use anything, pebbles, shells, little crystals, things like that. Um, it's good to use things that don't break apart when you fling them or that you don't mind they break apart because you can replace them. So this is called a mini sand painting, if you will, also. So what you do, I, and I like the number seven. I have seven objects because I, it's a sacred number and it's easy and it's not a crazy amount. You can do whatever you like. But let's say you've got a problem and you think about your problem. Let's say, let me see, you've got a bill you've got to get paid this month. You've got a big bill and you want to pay off your credit card debt this month. And you need some sources or you need some inspiration of where to get it. Or sort of help yourself uh, into get inspired life events or people or situations to enter your life or inspired ideas of how to get that money. So let's pretend you've got a bill that needs to get paid off. What you do, you hold the objects. Again, there are no rules here, just the idea. Hold the objects and think about your issue for a minute, your project. And then what you do is you fling them. Now this, this fling that I've just done, oh, this one came off screen. I'm going to, uh, this is basically a representation of your subconscious mind throwing these bones, if you will, these shells, these objects uh, to demonstrate your challenge about the bill you have to pay off this month. You want to get your credit card paid off, blah, blah, blah. All right. And then what you do is you just begin to set it up in a pattern that you like. This is the easiest thing in the world, folks. You begin to set it up in a fun pattern. Maybe it already is representing a pattern to you. Like I'm seeing like a V that goes this way. So maybe I'll just simply, I don't know, I'll make it a fun direct V like a flock. Let me put it in the center of the screen. You can begin to set it up in some, or maybe in a, a sacred geometry pattern. I think I want to put this big one in the middle and maybe maybe make it like a pretended star pattern. I don't know. We will just do something like this. I don't know. I'm just kind of come up with a pattern. This is live, folks. <laughs> this is not planned. But trying to figure out, maybe I could do, yeah, maybe like an angle like that. And then take the two little ones and go like that. And then have it kind of go like that. So that's that's the pattern that I think I want to do today. Maybe that right there. A little pattern I want to do today to sort out paying that bill. Maybe I want to turn this little scallop this way and this little scallop this way. Who knows? But you can you can do this outside with larger objects. I did do a sand painting video as well. Maybe I'll link it here if I think about it. But this is an example. Then you can leave it on the table and understand that your challenge is going to be solved. You're going to have an inspired idea of how to make the money. Someone's going to give you the money or you're going to have it a person, life event, or situation come up where you're going to pay that bill. That's just an example, but that's a simple table sand painting, just a way to order your mind. And it's a lot like walking a labyrinth. It orders your mind. But I wanted to show you that. It sounds crazy, but it really works, guys. Give it a try. It's probably the shortest video I'll ever do, but take care. Bye.